<sighs> Good morning, gamers. Known for such titles as Beat the Blocks, Shoot the Polygon Dudes, and Ascend the Mountain even though you have a fear of heights, virtual reality has been at the forefront of my mind ever since Facebook dropped this hot mama on us. So it's high time I make my own VR game. Reinstall Unity. Blech. Install drivers. Find out they were the wrong drivers. Install more drivers. Run it, but inevitably get some errors. And install the Oculus app. This might take a while. Make some test objects. It works. Now let's add some hands and some animations. Boom. VR. So now we're set up for virtual reality development, but now we have to actually make a VR game. And here's the plan. The player stands on a giant picnic table. Hot dogs fly at them from all over the place. But why? It's the world's most interactive eating contest. The player must catch all of the glizzies and gobble them to become the most glorious glizzy gobbler. For those of you that don't know, a glizzy is just a hot dog. Don't ask me why, ask TikTok. <gasps> wow, they have it, glizzy. Those zoomers are f***ing cracked, man. But now we have a plan. So let's get to work. I started by making this nice little glizzy model. It's pretty scuffed, but it'll work for now. And then I moved on to the picnic table and the glizzy cannon. And just like that, the models were done. Take all these bad boys and toss them into Unity. And it's programming time, baby. I started by just getting the hot dogs flying the most important part of a game about catching hot dogs. And this went really quickly, all thanks to the Unity physics engine. Thanks, Unity. Super cool. So then I added the second most important mechanic to the game, and that is the actual glizzy gobbling. Just make a sweet catch, bring it to your face, and boom, you're gobbling, baby. And at this point in development, I stood there like a goon and uh, caught glizzies and gobbled them for like 30 minutes straight. But I'm not here to goof around. I'm here to make a game. So I gotta stop that and get back to work. So I added a main menu, a health system, and a combo system, because that's what all great games have, right? So uh, just add those and now you have a good game on your hands. But it was time to bring this experience to life. The beautiful thing about virtual reality is that it brings you into a virtual world that can feel so realistic. And the way to make anything feel more realistic almost instantly is to add sound effects. So that's what I did. I recorded sound effects that would sound like glizzies. Oh, what am I doing with my life, dude? <laughs> oh, f that's gross. It's not good. It's also not terrible. Uncooked glizzies. Who would have known? And now that I had sounds in the game, it felt pretty good. There was only one problem with it. It looks like rat shit. So, it's time to add some polish and make this thing look muy bueno. Post-processing, new user interface, and most important of all, animations. Then I added some variants to the gameplay by adding different glizzy cannons to the environment, and bada bing, bada boom, I can now be a glizzy gobbler in my room. Now there's still one thing left to add to the game to tie the whole shebang together. And to add it, I'm going to need to dig deep into my SoundCloud EDM producer archives. See, a long time ago, long before I ever dreamed of making a game about hot dogs, I made a song about hot dogs. Jesus, does that mean that my love for hot dogs has always been part of my personality? So I'll go dig that song up, get it added, and then I can become the glizzy gobbling champion that I have always dreamed of one day becoming.
So that's how I became a VR glizzy gobbling champion. And I hope you all enjoyed it just as much as I did. I'll leave a link in the description to download the game if you want to. I know it runs on Oculus Quest 2. I have no idea about any other platforms, so uh, good luck if you try and run it. If you enjoyed the video, it would help me out so much if you gave it a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you want to stick around and watch me develop my own city builder game in my own game engine that I'm writing in C++ and OpenGL, be sure to hit the subscribe button. The next majority of the videos that I'm producing will probably be about that, given that that's kind of the big project that I'm working on right now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.